hello my beautiful people and welcome back to my channel as promised this week's videos are going to be all about how to boss up how to level up and how to glow up your life for this year and forever and before we get into everything please make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel so first things first what is bossing up your life what is glowing up um a lot of people really think that glowing up is just about oh i'm gonna buy some new outfits i'm gonna put on some new makeup and my life is going to be better no that is not how it works whoever told you that was lying to you yes you know maybe getting some new outfits some new makeup some new things to jazz your life up on the outside will make you feel better but a glow up a true boss up starts from within in this series i'll be showing different ways that you can boss up your life starting from the inside out having new shoes having new clothes different outfits having more money sure those things might be nice but it's really not gonna work out if you are not good within if your mind body soul and spirit is not healthy so the first video of this series is going to be five tips to take care of your mental health during hard times because if you don't know how to take care of your mental health during hard times and granted not even just during hard times but period there, there's no way that you're going to be able to boss up your life to be able to take care of yourself so let's get right into this video and a quick disclaimer before we really dive into things because i know that mental health can be a very touchy topic it can be very sensitive and you know trigger warning if you are dealing with things such as depression anxiety self-harm and any other serious mental health complications or disorders that you know you might have please make sure to reach out to your healthcare professionals and if you don't have access to a lot of things or or, you know because we're in a pandemic and you might be in a home situation that's less than ideal i'm gonna be linking some resources in the description box below so please make sure to check those out and to take care of yourself to the best of your ability now is not the time to judge yourself or be angry with yourself and really just look at the things that you can control and that you can manage and have power over in your life so my first tip is to find a hobby and do something that you love to do when you were little as you can see i loved hula hooping when i was little and as i got older i realized there were a lot of fun and cool things that i can do with it and it is such a stress reliever but i recommend not doing this indoors because as you will see pretty soon it's kind of not safe yeah that part my next tip for you all is a mindfulness meditation like I'm doing here so that way you can practice mindfulness. What I like to do is I take a comfortable seat and I start with three to five nice big deep breaths. That way I can just get centered and calm and I think about the room around me, where I'm sitting, how it feels when I'm breathing. And then I like to visualize so I like to think of my thoughts as leaves flowing down a stream. And if I kind of get stuck on one thought, I see it as the leaf just kind of getting stuck in the stream and swirling around. And what this does is it helps me calm down and explore feelings that I might have been pushing away. A big part of leveling up your life is taking time to take care of yourself, take care of your mind, your body, and your soul. Apps that I recommend for guided mindfulness meditations are the My Life app, where you can not only have meditations, but track your feelings. So my next tip for you all is detoxing from social media, but what exactly does that mean and what does it look like? Well, first things first, it's not just about deleting the apps off of your phone. It's about fine-tuning the content that you're taking in, and that's something that I'm still learning to do each and every day. So what I do is I also go through the list of people who I might be following or who are following me and if I see content that can sometimes either be really triggering or 
you know, I see that maybe I'm not always agreeing with this person or the things that they put out there make me kind of like feel bad about myself. I decide, you know what, this is no longer serving me and I choose to unfollow. That doesn't mean just to simply unfollow content because you might not agree with it, especially during times like this where I think it's really important for us to learn and have uncomfortable conversations. It's just knowing when too much is too much for you and also understanding that if you really don't agree deeply with somebody and it's really hurting you and impacting your mental health and your well-being you have to be comfortable with cutting it off and another thing too is comparing yourself on social media can happen a lot and that can have a really detrimental impact to your mental health especially during hard times like this where you think wow this person seems like they're coping amazing with this quarantine or with this isolation and i don't know what i'm doing trust me everything you see on social media is fine-tuned it's catered not to say it's not real people are showing the highlight reels of their life so don't compare your life and your lows to someone else's highlight reel and another way you can detox from social media i know especially for iphone users put limits on your phone and put a password on your phone so that way when you reach that time limit you have to put in the password and in order to change those annoying time limits you'd have to actually remember the password i forgot mine but it's really important to limit and moderate your content if you feel like okay like i you know i still have to pose for maybe different organizations that i'm in or i still want to be involved put time limits on your phone maybe if you're somebody who spends like 12 hours of screen time on your phone cut it down in half to like six or maybe even down to an hour or 30 minutes a day and you will notice the difference and the wonders it does on your health and my final little tidbit regarding social media detoxes is just be mindful of what you're putting out there be mindful of okay like is what i'm putting out impacting someone else negatively or you know why is it that what this person posts makes me so uncomfortable or makes me angry or brings me sadness really try to dive deeper into those feelings because detox isn't just about getting rid of something entirety but having a better understanding of it and releasing negativity and toxins from your mind your body and your soul my next tip for you guys is to get a journal and to start journaling so as you can see here, I am just flipping through my journal. The reason why I recommend journaling is because if you don't have anybody to talk to or you don't want to talk to anybody, you can literally vent out all of your feelings in your journal. But something that I like to do in particular is not just vent about my feelings, but I like to express the gratitude that I have. Every day and every night before I go to bed, I put a reminder on my phone to just name two or three things that I'm grateful for and it ends up becoming a long list so that way if I'm feeling down or I didn't have the best of days I can look back through my journal and see all of the things that I was grateful for previous to that bad day and it just boosts my mood incredibly and I'm also able to reflect on things in my life that I'd like to improve upon which is extremely important to bossing up your life and level leveling up your life, self-reflection is key because honestly, I found that I give myself the best advice, but I don't always realize it until I look back and see what I've reflected upon inside of my journal. So I highly recommend journaling practice. So my final tip for you all that I'll leave you with on how to improve your mental health during tough times, you know, as you're going on this journey to boss up and level up your life is to find somebody to talk to whether that be family friends or if you feel like you don't have that support system 
finding an online platform with people going through things that are similar to you to talk to but i always say to be mindful with those especially if you're going through something really serious because sometimes misery loves company so also be mindful who you choose to talk to and if they're going to feed into any negative energy and anything that's not going to be for your growth or if you're going through something really serious reach out to one of the hotlines that i'll put in the description box down below but most importantly find someone that you can share your thoughts and your feelings so with. that concludes today's video stay tuned for the rest of this mini series and if you like content like this be sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all soon